Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, yes this is awesome. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Last Tuesday, January 11th was supposed to be a big day for Samsung fans since part of the Galaxy S22 was expected to be announced but surprisingly all we got was silence. In the original plan, the Exynos 2200, Samsung's next top of the line mobile processor, would have been unveiled on January 11th. That date has come and gone and nothing special happened and the initial tweet promoting the event has also been deleted, without any further information. More recently, a leaked tweet from Do Hyun Kim claims that the Exynos 2200 chipset we have been expecting to see in European and Korean S22 variants has been withdrawn from production. For Samsung's phones outside of the United States, this would be a major shift but it may have come at the wrong time. Samsung normally uses the latest Snapdragon chipsets in the United States, but its own Exynos chips in the United Kingdom and most other nations worldwide. In other words, you can count on getting an S22 with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip no matter where you buy it or which of the three speculated variants you choose. Aside from that update, another news has popped up saying that the Galaxy S22 Ultra which is rumored to have the brightest screen ever can thoroughly beat the iPhone 13 series on paper but as it hints Ultra won't be the only model capable of doing this. Equal Leaks has revealed the results of Chinese regulators display testing for the Galaxy S22 Plus and S22 Ultra on Telegram. These findings, which are both for Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 versions of the phone based on what we presently know about the model numbers Samsung is using, show only one set of scores, implying that Samsung's latest display technology will not be limited to the top model. To begin, the tests measure the display sizes of the two phones and according to the findings, the S22 Ultra has a 6.8-inch display, which is the same size as the S21 Ultras and the S22 Plus, on the other hand, features a 6.55-inch display, which is smaller than the 6.7-inch S21 Plus. The peak brightness of both phones was remarkable at 1,750 nits, and if you guys can remember, this was also mentioned in an earlier S22 Ultra display leak. Anyway, this is a fantastic outcome. It's nearly 900 nits brighter than the S21 Ultra did in the display test last year, and 550 nits brighter than the S22 Ultra's main competitor, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Both displays covered 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, as can be seen in these findings. And that's a lot better than the S21 Ultra's 81%, or the iPhone 13 Pro Max's 77%, and it should result in more vibrant and accurate-looking photos and video on the S22 Plus and Ultra's displays. Apart from that, we can see that both phones are equipped with LTPO panels, which are capable of fully adjustable refresh rates. Last year, this technology was reserved for the S21 Ultra, so it's nice to see it make its way down to the S22's intermediate model. Aside from the screen, the S22 series is expected to include an integrated stylus in the Ultra variant, following the introduction of a compatible S Pen for the S21 Ultra last year. Changes to the camera system could include the addition of a super clear lens and a renewed focus on detailed, 108 MP shooting. Finally, as the reports suggest, Samsung will unveil the S22 series next month, in early February. As we move closer to launch, keep in touch with our channel, I'll be providing you guys the latest updates regarding the upcoming flagships. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.